Hello everybody, how's it going? Um, so today I'm going to show you guys my corrosion build because everybody and your mama has been asking me about my build. They're like, hey, what's the build? What's the B? They don't even see build anymore, they just say B, question mark. It's like, what? What? So anyhow, I've been carrying like almost everybody on this server in Prime Wars with this build. Uh, with an exception of uh, a couple of people who run similar build uh, that I'm running. Um, but anyhow, let me show you guys what I'm using. Of course, I'm using the corrosion, and the calibration that I have in mind is magazine capacity 60%, but we have a hit to reload speed, which is 30%, and then I have crit rate and crit rate. So, and you want to have crit rate with this gun. Now, the thing about this gun is there's a 70% chance to trigger power surge with a hit, but will not inflict power surge status. Now, the cool thing about this gun is we can inflict... Uh, crit on our power surge so we can double dip into damage so we can go status and crit damage so that is what makes this gun so amazing so when power surge is triggered uh, power surge crit damage is goes up 15% and it starts to ramp up so that can stack up to 10 times which is fantastic and also when uh, power surge does a critical hit you get crit rate 15% so pretty good pretty dang good so what you want to do is plus this up as high as you can and you want to start stacking crit damage and status damage so that is what I'm using um, I didn't I haven't changed anything uh, from what I've been using in my videos I haven't changed one thing so I do use long axe just to get the uh, heavy hit in and I can get uh, a little bit of more damage from Fortress Warfare because that lasts for 10 seconds. Um, I don't really bother with hitting the bosses with my uh, long axe because uh, you just don't have enough time to get the hits in. So I do use my heavy attack sometimes if it's like it depends on the situation. But yeah, if you guys don't know about Fortress Warfare, I'll explain that a little bit in the cradles. And then I'm using. Uh, Mayfly goggles. I am gonna start experimenting with the gas mask, but I haven't had a chance to experiment with it yet because I've been doing a lot of shiny farming. So uh, yeah, I'll probably make an update video on the the mask. Um, I just I haven't really had, honestly have a time to test it yet. But so far the Mayfly goggles has been absolutely fantastic. This is also what I've been using in my videos or my clips that you've seen. Oh, this is great because when you trigger your power surge, you're triggering it a additional time. Yes, you're taking a hit to damage, but still you're basically doubling your damage with a uh, with a minus to your your uh, power surge damage, which is not bad. Um, and then I'm using one piece of Bastille for uh, to get my H or uh, to get more weapon damage. And you want to scale as much weapon damage as possible because it it really scales up. A lot better than, I would say, status, and a little bit better than uh, uh, crit damage. So you want to get some weapon damage in there as much as you can. And then I'm rocking four piece of the Lone Wolf set. Uh, that way we can get our magazine size and crit rate up. Magazine size really helps out because you can. You don't want to be reloading too much during a boss fight. We're going to be dishing out tons of damage anyways. You'll go through. Pretty much a full mag, and the, and the boss is pretty much dead already. Now, if you're really struggling on mag size, just make another weapon. Just swap your weapon real quick. Boom. Prime Wars are running kind of smooth now at, uh, since the video of this came out. Or, uh, so, you guys shouldn't have too much of a problem with that. So, if you run out of ammo, uh, just swap weapons. Craft another one. It's not too hard to make another one, and plus it's a ten if you're an active player. Anywho, let's go over the mods because you guys are probably wondering what the mods are. So, I'm running momentum up, violent, uh, crit damage. I have really good mods because I played. This is my second go around on the season, so I have really good mods. I'm on hard mode season whatever server 07 whatever. Uh, momentum up is really good for this build because, like I said, you want to get weapon damage it really scales well with this build so crit damage and weapon damage then we're using targeted strike uh, so every time 
we have uh, the monster is like marked, we're going to get crit rate and crit damage, which is good because we can capitalize on that. Unfortunately, I don't really have a good one. I probably do now, but I haven't checked in a while. But, uh, yeah, sometimes, most of the time the boss is going to be marked anyways. If, if you're in a small group and no one like marks anything just use your uh wildfire pistol to apply a mark uh otherwise it's usually the boss is always marked for me or i'll use a hunter hunter drone to mark the enemy it's really not a big problem so uh this is optional um all you really want is crit damage for chests and the sub stats that has at least crit damage or weapon damage you can use gold mods if you want you don't have to use that blue mod just look for a gold mod that has like uh like this one uh you can use this for crit damage you just want really good substats because most of the uh the armor mods are gonna be like not really tailored towards damage so just look for really good substats you want weapon damage mag size and uh crit damage or status damage if you can like I said before status damage does scale with this build so for the pants we are using Deadshot Violent it's really really good mod for pretty much any kind of crit build because it ramps up to 45% crit damage which is really huge and since we're having since my calibration gives me such a big clip size or mag size uh, we're going to be capitalizing even more on that. So you want crit damage, weapon damage, and if you can, mag size or reload. Depends. Um, then for gloves, you can use crit amplifier, violent. You want crit damage, weapon damage. And then for boots, we're using covered advance. So if you're not getting hit, hopefully you're not, you should be able to capitalize on that on this uh, effect so basically take no damage within four seconds grants 20 percent weapon damage and status damage so we're double dipping we're getting weapon damage and status damage from this so this is a really good mod to have in your boots and of course we got crit and weapon damage for our sub stats or sub mods so that is what you want that is what makes this build really shine now you probably could squeeze out a tiny bit more DPS if you go with a uh, the elemental set. Yeah, it's the shelter set. You probably could get a little bit more. Depends. You have to kind of balance out your crit damage and your status damage. So it's up to you. You could do a elemental version or you could do a crit damage version. But I would probably recommend the crit damage one because it scales with other different builds. Um, but anywho, let's get into the foods. Now, you want to use Whimsical Drink because you're going to get status damage up. This is really going to help with your Power Surge procs. And uh, you're going to be able to crit off of those. You can easily do 15 to 20,000 um, uh, Power Surge uh, procs off of this. And then you want to use a Stargazy Pie because we're going to be capitalizing on that crit damage. So. Another reason I like using this build because I can capitalize on food and your drink buffs. And coming from a shrapnel build, you could really only use a food buff. But with this build, you can use food and water buff. So pretty nice. And it's sometimes, I don't know if this even really matters, but some in my clips I was using um, the Stardust shell, shell Break effect. And I'll just quickly show you guys what that actually does. It applies two um, buffs. And I don't really think they come into play too much. But you get the destroyer buff and the passing gas buff. And next roll leaves a poison. I don't use this in any of my clips. So it applies a vulnerability or whatever. Um, and then it's got destroyer damage to deviance increase 30%. So this probably does help a little bit. Um, so yeah, they, those are the two buffs that you might might have seen in my clips. I don't know if, if it makes a huge difference or not. I haven't really super tested it yet. I'm just being honest with you guys. And of course my Deviant is the Wolf. It's only a level 4, uh, tier 4 skill level. 
So it's got 37.8% damage increase if my wolf actually hit the um, the boss, the prime war boss. I ammo and accessories, so I'm using the muzzle, uh, extended break, then I'm using the uh, tactical laser sight. Uh, I think this is our only option, so we get increased mag size, which is fantastic. And then in all my clips, I was using the same ammo type, which is this tungsten shotgun AP bullet. I almost forgot. I am very sorry, guys. My cradle. <laughs> my cradle. So we'll go with handgun enhancement so we can increase our damage with our shotguns. And we're using tactical master. This is when I'm running uh, bosses because uh, I do 25% more damage to the great ones. If I throw a tactical out, so this really helps. Uh, deviation master. This really helps also when you're doing dungeon runs. Uh, so yeah, this is pretty nice, pretty nice, and then uh, a tactical combo, every time we switch a weapon or reload, we get extra damage for 4 seconds, it's a must, after hitting weak spot, so this is a uh, situational, but you do want to know where all the weak spots are on all the Prime War bosses, or any other bosses, like the dungeon bosses or whatever, this really helps, because it can increase your status damage by 25% really nice something to uh, you know jot down on your notebook okay and first round blast this one's all right after reloading instant damage power surge uh, for 20 25% for four seconds so this is a uh, it's decent if you reload before addition a lot of damage or uh, reload before uh, the, the prime war boss goes down you can squeeze out some extra damage uh, then we got Steady Hand. This is for when we use our axe. We can get uh, Fortress War Warfare from our axe. If we, we After we do our heavy attacks, we can capitalize on that uh, weak spot damage and extra damage with Bullseye. Um, then we got Lone Walker. Uh, I'm always pretty much solo, so benefiting from this, I guess. Uh, and that's about it. I was exper experimenting with um, Bounce Rampage from the uh, turrets because the turrets can do bounce, but I don't think it counts for you. I still had to do more testing on this because I was trying to capitalize on more damage with the bounce, but I don't think it actually procs. Uh, another one you guys can take is this one right here. I don't really take it too much because during a boss fight, there's not I'm not really focusing on a enemy. I'm not really look for for an enemy during a prime war. Uh, this is probably better for dungeons. I would probably pick this up, but in prime wars, uh, not really. Uh, wouldn't really recommend this. But anyhow, that is my my cradle. I didn't change anything uh, from from my videos, and uh, that is it. That is it.